So there seems to be a glitch inside of Modern Warfare 2 that allows us to check out the weapons inside of the game with the mastery camos that are polyatomic and the Orion camo itself early and that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. I'm going to just look at the camo on some weapons to showcase it to you so you can see if it's worth unlocking and also on top of that if it just looks good inside of the game. I did cover the polyatomic camo the video before this so if you want to check that out go check it out or it'll be also popping up on your screen right now or it's linked down in the description before we fully get into the video though shout out to these amazing people thank you so much for subscribing i really do appreciate it if you want to shout out in the next video be sure to subscribe and also you should drop a like on the video as that does really help out anyway without further ado let's go check these weapons out okay so here we are and i'm going to be checking out these camels on the same map that i did with polyatomic just to kind of keep it fair with between the two camels this is kind of like a versus in a way i think i'll actually be doing a versus in the future but here is the m four and honestly yeah it looks cool i think the camo coverage of it could be better the fact that these mastery camos like they have this like weird matte black cover on it but i'm like more of a fan of the idea of weapons like gold or i guess platinum inside of this game covering the whole weapon now inside of better lighting this definitely looks 100 times better i'm a huge fan of the really bright bits and just like this doesn't take my breath away. I will be honest, the polyatomic camo, I had a better reaction to it, or personally one that I was more proud of. Uh, here is also the akimbo revolvers. And yeah, I don't know, there's there's a lot of that black matte going on. I, I Actually, from this angle, this looks better. I like the blue. I really like the blue. I really like the bright blue. I like the like... I like it, like, 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 you know, I'm going to say like, probably like, oh God, I'm going to say, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got a bit jumbled up there. But yeah, no, um... Kimbo Revolvers M4, it looks okay. You know, nothing crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, would I rock this though? Yes, of course. I think with attachments and like a scope and stuff, this would definitely look better. Next up, we have the Bullfrog Mini Kit or whatever else you want to call this weapon. Um, it is from like multiple different Call of Duties. Ooh, I do like that the actual magazine bit isn't matte black, or at least that texture. This one, camo is very shiny. Look at it. Like, it's very, very shiny. But the other one was as well. It has, like, this finish on it that looks metallic, or, like, it looks like if I touched it, it would be slimy. <laughs> I don't know why. One thing I forgot to mention, or I don't know if I did mention is, but it is animated. Like, 100% animated. Fully. Um, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, next up we have the knife. I'm curious how this will look. Favorite inspection in the game with the revolver. Um, yeah, it definitely looks good. Ooh, ooh, yeah, no, no, mm. I think it depends on lighting. What does it look like in the dark? Um, yeah, I, I hopped onto what, what you might call that racing map. Uh, just to see if I would be able to do the showcase on there. And that map is way too dark. So I guess this camo can only look good in like bright maps like Farm 18, Las Almas, and whatever the other maps are called. Like I only know those two because these are my two favorite. But yeah, knife. I guess I guess it's okay. And the bullfrog kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. What is it called? Um mini back. Oh frick, what, what was I calling it? Ooh, ooh, now it's getting like really bright blue. Ooh, yes, I dig this. Yes. Give me as much like that bright blue and I will love this camo forever. Now it is time for my favorite sniper rifle in the game with the best camo coverage ever. And ooh, yes. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. This weapon has genuinely the best camo coverage like look at that it's ginormous it's a great sniper like oh this thing is sexy af i adore it now one cool thing is with this camo or just overall camos inside of this game they can go through an update or at least a change i think one change that this camo could benefit from and a huge one is kind of keep it bright like it is right now make it maybe brighter um and speed it up speed that camo up a tiny bit more like it's fast ish to the point of them wanting it to behave like space i guess if you want to look at it that way it could definitely benefit from more brightness and speed and this thing would be a beast and maybe a bit of texture because right now it's just like this silky smooth slimy look to it now we have the vel 46 and well, once again, I think this map does good justice to this camo. I did check it out on Las Almas earlier, and honestly, on Las Almas, it didn't look crazy good, but here it does. Like, 
Farm 18 has this like natural gray blue lighting that I think just makes camels look amazing. That's why I'm looking at camels in here. And yeah, no, this looks this looks good. I think it looks good. Um, will I say it's my favorite? Uh, no, I think my favorite uh, still is that sniper rifle one with the camo coverage and it just looks like a beast now here are the 50 gs akimbo just like we checked out with the revolvers and yeah you know similar to the revolvers it's okay like it's nothing crazy i think i think it was throwing me off is the fact oh wait, wait wait look that like really bright dark blue is coming in it's like a highlighter i like that yes Yes, this camo reminds me of Dark Ether sometimes, you know? Or, well, Dark Matter, whatever you want to call the camo. But I think because this weapon doesn't have a cool uh, uh, animation, it's weak. Weak, weak, let's move on. Okay, I just spawned in and looking at the scar, this thing looks... Ooh. Now, scar, you do not disappoint with your weapon. Well, look the way it behaves. Oh, I just burnt the tires. And the camo coverage. This is sexy. Look at it. That's actually really good. You get to get a good look at the magazine with the like weird space pattern they have on it. Yeah, no, this looks this looks sexy. I do like this. Yes, yes. A plus. You know what? A plus plus plus. Plus. Now here is the Lackman 762. And similar to the Scar, this thing has some good coverage. It has a lot of like that brown orange in the middle but i kind of like it it gives you the best of everything like best of both worlds you get the bright blue you get the orange you get the purples you get the like weird matte space colors hell yeah i dig that and also here's the p890 akimbo pistols yeah no just mid you know nothing crazy I, I i doubt you'd be really using pistols all that much in this game so it's okay i guess here is the AK-47, or at least I think it's the AK-47. It has a different name. It looks like an AK-47. Um, there was no audio, but I think the ARs just in this game have really good Orion coverage. Like, more orange than I'd like. Ooh, that actually looks like a galaxy. Never mind. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. See that? See that orange? That looks like an actual, like, what are those called? I don't know if it's a galaxy. It's like that dust cloud or that cloud that you have in space. I do like that. Personally, I'm a huge, like, space uh, nerd. Well, kind of. Like, it intrigues me, you know? So, I, I dig this camo. I think maybe that's why I like it a lot. Now, here is the Fennec and... I don't know man let's go to better lighting I guess before I judge it fully but like I had a quick look at it there and yeah no it's okay the top bit is throwing me off with the whole like black matte space effect I think I would have preferred more of the actual Orion purple orange blue light blue green whatever these colors are oh my god Jesus the Phoenix fire rate is insane you yeah, know it, it's okay it's okay nothing crazy and just to finish off this video inside of the firing range, just because some of the weapons are not showing up since uh, CDL has like some weapons locked off and the only way you can get the shotgun is by putting on overkill. It doesn't show up in normal matches, so you know, we're just gonna be chilling inside the firing range. You know, this is great. The Expedite 12 has some amazing camo coverage on it, like you can see it very well and this is an amazing shotgun, so hell yeah. I would love to check out other shotguns and just over other like crazy weapons, but Fortunately, they're just not available. There was a way of getting the LMG, which I did in the previous video. I have no idea how to do it again. You can actually, if you look at the side, you can see the actual black matte bit of the weapon moving, which is really cool. It's very slow though. Like you can see the whole thing moving, but just super, super slow, which is just unmissable. Maybe they tested out faster speeds and it was too fast. Who knows? Oh wait, look, the LMG is there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is the LMG there? Oh. Why? Why is LMG there? Okay, never mind. This is, I guess, how I get the LMG. Here's the here's the LMG combo coverage. Ooh, oh wow, this is crazy. Look at that. Oh, what's in here? Oh, okay, goodbye. Um, I don't know how that happened, but I guess there's the LMG. Um, let's shoot it a tiny bit. I think this is pretty good coverage. It's a weird looking LMG though. What is it called? The 556 Icarus. I need to learn of all these weapons. They have all such bizarre names instead of being like actually called by their real life name. Oh my god, my aim is terrible. But I mean, I think I'm just going to finish off the video here. But before I fully do, I will also show you how I did this. I will just like put in a clip from my previous video that I recorded. 
just so I can explain to you how you can do this method yourself because you can. You can also check out like multiple different blueprints that are coming to the game and there's hundreds of them in my opinion. So that's kind of crazy that you can do this. And you can check out obviously platinum, gold if you still want it on other weapons and the polyatomic camo. Now I only covered like some weapons just so not I don't make this video like ridiculously long. So I won't keep you long. Uh, Go enjoy the rest of this video. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to drop a like in the video. And comment down below what you think. What do you prefer? Polyatomic or Ryan? If you're wondering how to do this though. If you go back to this kind of section. Where you see featured and multiplayer. Go over to private match. Create private match. But specifically go over to Call of Duty League. And go over to higher point. Personally this is my favorite one. Wait until you can start the match. Because it does take a while. As you can see now it is green. And I can select it. And when you go over to your weapons. Select any obviously. You can see I have a camo selected already. Which is the Orion one. But if you go over to customize. You can basically equip any camo that you want uh, platinum gold polyatomic or orion and yeah 